your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Because of the value of the soul, we need to have great respect for God's holy word. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 tells us that all scripture is given by inspiration of God or literally God breathed. It comes from his very character. And so we need to honor this word of God. We need to know it and search it and seek for truth. As a matter of fact, in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6, the end of the verse says something rather interesting. It begins by saying that without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, now get this, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Now, as we dig into God's word, we have certain responsibilities. And because of the value of your soul, you need to take seriously the way you deal with God's word. There's a consistent theme that runs through the Bible, and that is you need to handle accurately the word of God. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. In Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 2, we read these words. Moses would say, You shall not add to the word which I command you, nor take from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. Now, get, listen to this again. You shall not add to the word which I command you, nor take from it. We need to take every word that we find within the Bible. And we need to do our very best to handle it accurately. Psalm 119, verse number 160 is a very important concept that we find within the scripture. The sum of God's word or the entirety of God's word is truth. We need to take everything that God has to say and we need to understand it in the greater context of the Bible. Open your Bibles up to Revelation chapter 22, beginning at verse number 18. And we find this again. And yes, it has application to the book of Revelation, but it has application to all of God's word. In 22 verse 18 of the book of Revelation, we read, For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. We have no right to come to the Bible and say, well, I, I like this, I don't like this. Why should we be so concerned? Because your soul has eternal value and this book will determine whether you spend eternity with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit or whether you're separated in a devil's hell forever. Join us again.